what up guys so I'm going to be talking to you guys about talking to you and showing you guys about how I cover my port um, I did make one video and I think it was more of a like what I do in the morning um, but things have changed just a little bit and I finally found a way to make sure that my port is placed and secure without getting any uh, wet any water um, by it or on on it um, it is a process it's fast but I feel like I'm wasting a lot of product but at the same time I'm not because I'm able to keep my port from getting any infections so I'm going to show you guys how I do it now and why I do it and hope that maybe it'll help one of you guys out because there are so many people I've watched so many vlogs and how people do it and none of them are really safe and the way I've been doing it wasn't really safe but it's the best way that I can do it and many of you guys can do it um, but I found something something different so let's get to it and I'm gonna show you guys how I do mine it's been a while since I recorded the beginning of this I mean that had to been over a month old and as I'm about to take a shower it hit me like I haven't finished recording that so here I am about to take a shower I am not I'm wearing a sports bra so I want to show you how I now um, cover my port. Um, don't mind this. Uh, it's special effects makeup, so blood and stuff, and then the glue that's stuck to it. And so it just looks really dirty or painful, but it's not. So, not saying that this will work for everybody, but I'm going to say that I think it should work for everybody. Um, I don't think there is really a 100% way of doing this, like where it will not get wet. But basically you wrap it up like this. This part doesn't really bother me getting wet as much as where the bandage is. So I use one of these. I take it off. The sides anyway, I mean. So I do have many versions of these, but it just doesn't work. It ends up going on my bandages and then rips it off. So um, the way of doing this Per se so I just kind of go over it nothing special oh hold on I don't want it on my bandage that's already on the skin and I do like this so my issue is I always just add more but what happens is if you keep adding more like this or like this it the water when it hits like for instance up here it'll kind of seep down here it'll fold through so the best way i've learned after quite some time was basically to because my more my my main issue is not going the waters are coming in this way or this way which it does it's going down so i wrap i use many of these like it comes with a pack of seven and I go through I don't know maybe four so I do another one and I put it on top and I make sure it goes over my shoulder a bit and for this reason is that when the water hits like this it will slide down back or slide forward but it will not slide into a crevice where I um, essentially will get water into my port. To make everything more safe, um, sometimes I will do a third one. My camera looks like it's about to die, so that's unfortunate. Um, I'll make, I'll do one more, basically on that same one, overlapping it. This doesn't have to be pretty because again you're just trying to get the water to hit and slide down you want it to be clean if you can I'm actually making it really messy because I I don't know why I'm having issues with keeping my bra up and then from there those are the three so cover it go over your shoulders a bit and then another one that goes to the back of your shoulder I'm going through another uh, kit and then this one will be mainly for the cover of my chest as an extra security. All right. So this would go like here. 
just such a security. So yes, this looks like I'm overdoing it, but mine doesn't get wet. Like never not has it since I've been doing this like extra up here. This is the main part. You want it to be cover your port and go all the way around to the back of your shoulder. And then this, of course, I will get water coming in here. But um, the kind of bandaging I use for my port doesn't like when it gets wet, it doesn't get um, it doesn't go under the bandaging. So I don't really have an issue a lot. It's just an issue just getting it wet in general. But it's not like a cottony texture. It's plastic and doesn't go under. So long story short, this is how I bandage my port cover. One that kind of goes over just a little bit, and then another one that goes all the way over. And then maybe another one that comes over here. That's kind of up to you. But that is how I cover my port. So I um, hope that helps because I know that ports are having an issue for people trying to find a way to cover theirs. Um, but that is how I do mine. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope maybe it will help you guys out. Maybe give it a try and comment below if it did work out for you. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, just make a comment below and I will try and get back to you guys with a answer. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, hit that bell, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.